what's, why, why these dresses are so significant and why they're in the book, even if something you wouldn't wear. Up until this period of time, basically, black performers did not, they very often either perform on something in, in, in the 50s called the Chitlin Circuit, which was a, which is where 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 blacks were, were confined to, to, the, to this particular group of, of clubs. Very often, which they had a, they, they performed out front, but couldn't walk through the front door. They couldn't eat. They had they were served in the kitchen. Couldn't use the bathrooms. Barry Gordy, when he created Motown, one of the, his major goal in Motown is is that black performers will get the same respect that white performers have. And he decided that basically his spearhead for this was going to be the Supremes, particularly Diana Ross. And he decided that these they, they, they actually, that, that get, Gordy created a finishing school for his performance. He taught them how to walk, he taught them how to dress, he taught them poise, and, and, this, and this was part of it. They were gonna come on, their goal, his goal was that they were gonna perform at a club in New York that was called the Copacabana, which at that time, Frank Sinatra would perform at the Copacabana, Rosemary Clooney, if you don't know who she is, that's your fault. Okay, George, okay, George Clooney's aunt, all right? But, and, 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 Diana, and Diana Ross and the Supremes played, played, played the Copa, but, but their real triumph was when they basically had a TV special built around them called TCB, called Taking Care of Business, 